Well, I think they're illegal. I want to see them gone. That was city council member Ian Hugh. The city of Glendale is dealing with an issue. You see, a while back, Bert was approved for a business license. And shortly afterwards, a bunch of Bert scooters started appearing on city streets. They showed up on corners, at bus stops, and pretty much random places. The interesting part, Glendale doesn't quite seem to fit the profile for scooters. I've seen maybe one, two people riding them. I put five bucks on my car like a week ago just to see what, how these things work. How do you like it? It's just a novelty, man. Like, they'll pass in time. Since we use the word pass, let's roll back the calendar to 2005. That was when the city of Glendale passed the ordinance banning any motorized vehicles on public grounds. This was because back then it was motorized skateboards. Under the existing ordinance, there is a $150 fine for riding them on public streets which includes sidewalks, roadways, or any part of the street or city property. That being said, now city officials are trying to determine what their next move is. I know it's, it's starting to be a heated topic and council will be visiting this. But for now, if you look around Glendale Civic Center or on Glendale Avenue, there are scooters lined up waiting for the onslaught of customers, which I didn't see. That being said, someone is using them, or else they'd have been removed a long time ago. So I asked this guy who was a contractor for Bird. So here's the question. I haven't seen them used a lot out here. You know what? I've <laughs> they're used a lot at night, I've noticed, or in the afternoons. I've noticed that a lot of kids like after school. Which is interesting because you need to be 18 and have a valid driver's license to operate one. Also, I wanted to find out if there was an actual agreement between the city of Glendale and Bird. So I emailed Bird, and at this point, they don't have an answer. But keep in mind, Bird does have a business license. However, according to Council Member Hugh. And I'm unclear how business is allowed to go set their wares out on city property throughout the town. But it's something that council is going to look at and see if we need to take a, a stronger measure. Stand by, there is more to come. In Glendale, Stanley Roberts for Arizona's Family.